I'm Dexter, and I'm not sure what I am. Hi, Dexter. I just know there's something dark in me. I hide it. dark passenger and when he's driving I feel alive your point in each and every step it's like a thousand of the times we could have changed but we're cemented in place give me a I don't fight him. I don't want to. He's all I've got. Nothing else could love me. Not even... Especially not me. Dexter is not a show about a killer trying to kill. It isn't about him trying to get away with his crimes. Rather, it's a deep look into a man trying so desperately to fit in despite the monster he is on the inside. It's a show about a man trying to overcome his demons and form real meaningful connections with the people around him. And through eight seasons, we follow his triumphs, his failures on his journey to become something more than his demons. Is this not the same story we all share to some extent? While you and I may not be serial killers, Dexter is a metaphor, a reflection of a darkness that burrows itself into the souls of many and the struggle we all have against it. Mommy loves you, Dexter. They make it look so easy. Connecting with another human being. It's like no one told them it's the hardest thing in the world. Within us all is the need to be connected to someone, to something. There is a tribal urge pushing us to want to belong, but there is a great divide between us and others. I spent this past summer putting myself out there, going on dates, to parties and places I wouldn't normally be. I put myself in uncomfortable situations to form real connections, but it never went as planned. Each interaction ends the same, with a feeling of emptiness and numbness that won't rub away easily. It's hard for me to connect with others and speak with them beyond small talk. I have so much to share, so many things I'd like to say, but it isn't easy for me to communicate that. Because in the grand scheme of things, I'm an observer and hardly a participant. What I'm left with is a deafening sound of lonely silence, a voice, a darkness, a monster forming in the back of my mind telling me that he's the only one for me. My monster is all about love and connection. Maybe yours is alcohol or drugs, only you know that. But it's that same darkness we all share. A monster like Dexter's that manifests itself into each of our hearts in its own unique way. Even though the ending of Dexter doesn't say it gracefully, sometimes we are stuck with our monster and it will affect the ones around us no matter what. Do you think love, sex, marriage will cure your depression? Or are you destined to spread that disease to your loved ones? Do you think drugs or alcohol will take you away from those problems? There's something deep and dark festering within us all. No matter your upbringing, no matter how hard you try to tame it, it grows and spreads like a vicious poison. This is their future, Dexter. We both know it's inevitable. No. Arthur abandoned his family. I would never do that. Arthur left his family too late. The damage was already done. You can still save your family. But 
by leaving, though? You'll always need someone on your table. If you stay, sooner or later you'll be caught and they'll pay a terrible price for what you've done. Because long after you're executed, they'll still have to go through life with your name branded across their foreheads. In the end, Dexter realizes that no matter what he does, he is doomed to affect the ones that he loves. He couldn't stop Rita and Deborah from dying. Could he really prevent Harrison and Hannah from dying as well? What he learns is that destruction is inevitable. We are doomed to consume and break down the most beautiful things around us and all we can do is sit back and watch in its downfall. But we have a choice. When the monster takes form, will you run from others to protect them? Or will you stand your ground to fight regardless of how it will affect others? The choice is yours. One of my favorite songs, Centipede by Wilson, captures the essence of Dexter perfectly. As the singer states, Oh, I wonder how you move your hundred little legs. I've never seen them spin with such a grace. Your point in each and every step is like a thousand of the times we could have changed, but we're cemented in place. We're strangers in the excess. We're not like the others here. Oh no, won't we stay the night, dear, and tell me I belong? Give me ataraxia, cause it fills, you fill me a little, then straight through the bottom, we're all faking something. In the context of others, we all put on a performance to some degree. We're all faking something. The perfect boyfriend who isn't in love, the studious and obedient child who wants to act out, the class clown that's really just seeking attention. In the case of Dexter, he tries to be anything but a serial killer. He found that love and acceptance in Hannah, but is that love worth her getting hurt? Maybe not. In the end, we are all searching for that one chance, that opportunity to be who we truly are. Like a centipede, we all dream of moving so gracefully, without thought, without delay, and acting as who we truly are in the arms of someone we truly love. Ataraxia is defined as a state of serene calmness. Maybe ataraxia is a childish dream, but perhaps it is a reality. We march onwards onto an unknown future trying to capture that serene calmness, either in the arms of a dearly beloved or in the silence of our own loneliness. There's the ultimate question of whether or not we are deserving of a happy ending, whether or not we are deserving of a love despite the horrible things we have done. You can wait your whole life for an answer, but I promise it won't come, because at the end of the day, the choice is all yours. And what about me? Maybe I'll never be the human Harry wanted me to be. But I couldn't kill Tony Tucci. That's not me either. My new friend thought I wouldn't be able to resist the kill he left for me. But I did. I'm not the monster he wants me to be. So I'm neither man nor beast. I'm something new entirely, with my own set of rules. I'm Dexter. Things. People. 